Hello, everybody. Well, I did it. I'm pregnant now. I'm most likely six weeks pregnant, maybe five. Now you're not supposed to tell people until you had your first scan or whatever. I took my pregnancy test this morning. So here I am at the age of 30. This is my first child. Overall, I'm scared. I'm happy, but I'm scared. No, I'm not scared to have a kid during this time in human history. Though it is a scary time in human history. I don't believe in letting those types of fears persuade you from what you want to do with your life. And After living 30 years of my life independently without creating a family, or marriage, I came to the conclusion that a family and marriage is what I wanted. Even if fascism is on the rise, it's kind of a way of rebellion too, against the system which is de trying to depopulate the human race. Not having a kid for that purpose, though. Not having a kid for any purpose. I consider my pregnancy a blessing. And I look at it like my life is no longer my own. Now my life belongs to the life inside of me. My life is now pledged solely for the purpose of purity health, and virtue, and sweetness. I know the way I was raised, the way my mother raised me, the cycle of that ends with me. I will not raise my child to teach her or him how to hate themselves like my mother did for me. I will not subject my child to abuse of any form like my mother did for me. And I made sure to have a child with a man who's interested in becoming a father, being a father to the child so that my father, my child can be raised with both parents, unlike my parents did for me. And all that hoopla about when your baby's crying, don't pick it up, you don't want to cater to your baby crying and think of Every time it cries, it gets what's what it wants. I don't believe in that philosophy. I believe a child, especially, especially from birth, the earliest years, the earliest months, needs all the love in the world. That's where it grows to get its sense of attachment to other people. I want to raise an incredible human being who's self-empowered and self-loving and self-respecting so that when they go out into the adult world, hypothetically, if there is one to go out into, that they're prepared, better prepared for life than I was in many ways. I was not prepared for adult life whatsoever when I began my adult life. I began my adult life as a self-hater, as a self-loather, as a masochistic person. My child will never know masochism. Never. My child will have unconditional love from, from me. My child will never know ultimatums like my mother gave me. If my child wants to be an artist like I wanted to be an artist, more power to them. If they have to stay in my home until they're 40, if they could never adhere to this society, I won't blame them. Their only expectation will be that they value themselves and they love themselves. And that they're a good person. I'm going to teach them all the, the valuable principles of life. 
all the things you need to be a reasonable, healthy, responsible adult who's self-sufficient. I hope there's somebody great in this world. I hope they do great things. And as a soul, I recognize myself to be a soul more than I do as a woman. And as Andrea Simmons, that's just my identity in this lifetime. I know without a shadow of a doubt that I am a soul. And so this is a spiritual effort of mine to contribute to the human race.